Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you had a really good week. I've had a great week myself. The weather is, uh, we're getting summer weather <laughs> here in Oregon now. I feel like our spring rainy season has come to a close and um, we, are, we are entering our warm Oregon summer weather around here. It's been in like the low 80s, which has honestly felt kind of nice. Stella and I have tried to get outside as much as possible to get some vitamin D and just some fresh air, which has been fantastic. I cleaned out my minivan this week, which really needed it. Um, it was, it still had a lot of like flower residue. I don't know, there are leaves and stuff from um, arrangements that I was delivering before all of this stuff happened. And um, so anyway, I finally got in there, uh, vacuumed it really well, wiped everything down, and I think that I have the cleanest minivan in the neighborhood. So I'm <laughs> kind of excited about that. Yeah, I lead a pretty dull life at this point in time. <laughs> so that was kind of the highlight of my week. Anyway, I have my usual Friday favorites and flops to share with you guys. I don't have any flops this week. Um, I feel like I've had a really good run of like solid stuff as of late. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right in. As always, I will put links for everything in the description box down below. So if you wanna know how much things cost, where to buy them, if I talk too fast and you're like, wait, what was that? Information is always down there. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna dive right in. I'm going to start out with a pillowcase. I know, random. However, you guys know that I use the Sleep and Glow, thick, it's like a, a beauty pillow. Um, really, I, <laughs> and I said this in my review of this product, I don't use this so much for like the beauty benefits. Um, this is designed in a way to help you from like to smashing your face into the pillow and creating unnecessarily wrinkles, unnecessary wrinkles on your face while you're sleeping. So you're if you're a side sleeper, it has these cutouts here that you essentially like, well, I have the pillow, there we go, where you stick your face so that you're not like smashing your face, if that makes sense. So anyway. I love this pillow, but I love it because this has trained me to be a back sleeper. Um, I don't actually sleep on my side, so while these things are great for maybe if I'm like talking to Craig at night in bed before we like pass out or whatever, um, but what this has trained me to do is to sleep on my back because it has just this really comfortable design. I've talked all about this pillow. I'm gonna link my original review of this down below, but um, what I wanted to tell you guys about is so the Sleep and Glow company who sent me the pillow to start with asked if I would want to try their silk pillowcase. So here it is. I have actually been using this silk pillowcase. Um, it's not on there right now because I just took it off yesterday to wash it. So the pillowcase I currently have on here is the original one that came with the pillow. But they do have this silk one. And I really like it a lot. Um, I think I think it's nice to have some replacement pillowcases as well because pillowcases should be washed. I would recommend washing your pillowcase at least once a week. Um, I think washing your sheets once a week should really be a thing, um, sometimes more often. But um, yeah, I think once a week is a good thing, especially for pillowcases because these can definitely collect dirt bacteria. And so you just, you wanna have a clean place to put your head at night, right? So anyway, this silk one is really nice. And what I actually really like about this is I feel like it keeps, especially since I'm a back sleeper now, is it helps with like breakage in your hair as well because this has such a nice soft slip to it. Um, so yeah, I really, I like this pillowcase a lot. I'm thinking about ordering another one for myself. I can't decide whether I would go for another silk one or just their regular. Um, I feel like both are pretty great options, but I will say if you're a back sleeper, um, it is nice to have just a silk pillowcase of some kind to protect your hair, especially if you find that you like move your head and maybe you wake up with like a rat's nest in your hair every single morning. Um, this could definitely help with that. So this can help with like the hair aspect. And I'm sure 
if you're a side sleeper, this is also probably really nice to have against your face as well. Silk has that kind of nice, cool feel to it. So anyway, I really, I like this a lot. So I'm actually, once this one gets dirty, I am gonna plan on putting this one back on right away because I really do, I like it a lot. So anyway, a big thanks to Sleep and Glow for sending out the extra pillowcase. I really do appreciate having that for sure. So I think I'll probably go ahead and order myself another one. Um, in terms of beauty stuff, I'm just gonna plow right through because there's a lot of stuff today. Um, first, my perfume of the week has been Vanilla Woods. You guys know I love this one. This is from The Seven Virtues. Oh, gosh, you guys, it is the most amazing vanilla. So um, this has, oh wait, I can't read the notes. Oh, no, the notes aren't on here. It just says, uh, it's best for alleviating stress, calming, and soothing the overworked. I don't know. Do, you guys, this smells like a very warm vanilla scent. It also has a floral note in it, but it's a vanilla floral. It's just, it's the most beautiful scent. If you like a lot of vanilla-based scents and you've never checked out this Vanilla Woods, um, I don't know if you're all, not Ulta, this isn't sold at Ulta, this is sold at Sephora. If your Sephora stores are open, Go and sniff this one out, you guys. It's beautiful. Um, Seven Virtues is also a cruelty-free brand, so thumbs up for that. Um, I have uh, the, I've been using this again. So I actually just finished up, um, when was it? Was it on Monday or Tuesday? I actually forgot to put it in my empties, but the Sol de Janeiro little Coco Cabana shower cream. Um, I forgot to toss that in my empties, so you guys will see that at the end of June, but I finished that up earlier this week, and then instead of grabbing the full size of the Coco Cabana, which I also bought at the last Sephora sale, I decided to go with this one just for a little change of pace. I'll probably end up putting the Sol de Janeiro one in there anyway, but this is the Call of Fruity um, body wash from Soap and Glory. If you have never tried this scent, now is the time of year to pick this one up. Oh man, is this fun for summer. It smells like sweet tarts. Mm. But like a mix of, I would say, sweet tarts and Smarties kind of, like a little mix between those two. It's so good. This is also just a great body wash. It's not drying. I wouldn't call it a moisturizing body wash, but it's also not a drying body wash. So this is definitely one worth checking out for sure especially for the fragrance alone, because that's amazing. Um, I have been testing some new sunscreens for the face because I have a collab video coming up for you guys on June 6th, um, where uh, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite sunscreens for summertime. Um, I'm testing out some new ones. I'm not gonna show them to you guys here because I wanna save them for the video, but I've also picked up some things for the body as well. And one of the things that I recently picked up for um, the body is the Pacifica SPF 30 Mineral Bronzing Sunscreen. This is amazing because this has a tint. Do you guys see that tint there? So I've just been using this on my legs on days where I'm wearing like dresses or skirts. This does have color to it. Let me see if I can get just, oh, oh, see, it comes out kind of, you get a lot. <laughs> so there you go. Um, but what this does is it provides the nicest bronzy glow to my legs. So, oh, I shouldn't have done both hands. That was idiotic. But you can kind of tell, see how white I am? <laughs> Look at this nice bronzy tone. There is, I wouldn't call it, it doesn't have a shimmer to it. It has, but it has a glow to it. It's, re, it's kind of hard to explain. But what this is amazing for, for those of the, for those mamas out there who have the little spider veins from when you were pregnant or maybe her, hereditary spider veins, whatever. I got a ton of those when I was pregnant with Stella. Like pregnancy was kind of rough on my body. Um, so I have a bunch of these little spider vein clusters on my legs that essentially look like bruises, but this helps to cover those up a little bit and it makes my legs not look translucent. Um, and it's a mineral SPF, so this has zinc oxide in it. 
Um, there's no other, there's no like chemical sunscreens in here. So if you like a, um, a mineral sunscreen and you're looking for a little bit of coverage, maybe just on your legs, check this out. Uh, be warned though, if you're wearing like a white skirt or something, this will rub off on fabric um, if you're like sweating a whole ton. So just be careful with that, but I feel like it's fine for the legs um, and it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. So you can even wear this to the pool. I really like this a lot. I'm a huge fan of that. Getting some messages. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm spending way too much time on each of these things. Um, for my hair this week, I'm kind of going through my current like open stash of hair care products and trying to use some things up. And what I've been using this week is the AG Hair Care Big Wig Root Volumizer. You guys, this definitely gives me some oomph at the root for sure. If you've never tried anything from AG Hair Care, I can tell you this rocks. A lot of their shampoos and conditioners are really good too. They have a purple shampoo and conditioner that I've tried in the past. Um, it's silver something. I can't remember the exact name of it, but that's really good too. Um, AG Hair Care, great company. Again, they are cruelty free. Um, and if you're looking for a nice volumizer for your roots, if you have fine thin hair like I do, check this guy out. It's one of those ones where it comes out of like that little opening. So you just like spray it directly into the roots, work it in and then blow dry your hair and whew, like, yeah. And it gives my hair some really nice texture too. So I love that. Um, I have been using the It's a 10 Miracle Daily Conditioner in the shower. Um, Ulta is going to probably be doing their Ulta like leader sale coming up here soon, their jumbo sale. This is normally part of that jumbo sale. So uh, it, put this in your cart when that time comes around. This is really nice. It's a great everyday conditioner. Sometimes I like to mix it up and use a different conditioner with some of my shampoos. Also. I go through conditioner way faster than shampoo. So oftentimes I finish up a conditioner from like a duo, like a shampoo and conditioner duo. And then I'm left with like a quarter of the bottle of shampoo still. So um, it's been nice because I have this in there just by itself. Like I didn't buy the shampoo this last go around. Um, so I can use this with all of the other shampoos that I have in my shower and it pairs really nicely with all of them. So. Anyway, when this goes on sale, I pick it up. Doesn't weigh my hair down, hydrates it really nicely. Just a great product overall, love it. Um, let's, um, oh, another thing, another hair thing I wanted to mention. So these are obviously just little samples, but I like this a lot and I need to look into this brand a little bit more. I don't know if they're cruelty free, so forgive me on not looking that up quite yet, but this is the Sasha Wan Silver Shampoo and Conditioner. So I got this in my last Sephora order. I actually just placed an order at Sephora for some um, powder foundations to try out for you guys. So um, anyway, this came with that. I really like this a lot. Um, if this is a cruelty-free brand, I'm gonna buy this shampoo and conditioner just to test it out over like the long run, but this is nice. I like the way it smelled. It was like pretty pigmented. You can kind of see a little bit there. So. Yeah, anyway, I've never really tried anything from them, but this I really like. So I need to look into the brand a little bit more. Stay tuned. Okay, this is the Saturday Skin 10% Lycolic Acid and uh, Pore Complex. So I was able to get this off of the Octoly website. So I did not pay for this particular product. If you are somewhat new to my channel, I do utilize the Octoly platform to apply to different brands to be able to review things that I'm interested in. Um, there's not a whole lot in the uh, Octoly, they call it a store right now, that is applicable to me because there's not very many cruelty-free brands. Saturday Skin um, is a cruelty-free brand. Um, this is a Korean skincare brand. So they sent this out for consideration. I've been using it for the last week and a half and I haven't really made up my mind about it yet. I think I need to use it for a little bit longer. But um, one of the things that kind of concerned me when I was looking at the ingredients is there are a lot of um, essential oils in here. There's orange peel oil, grapefruit peel oil, lemon peel oil. There's lavender oil in here, rosemary leaf. 
Um, so this could potentially be somewhat irritating to certain people's skin. It's not irritating to my skin, and I do think it provides some really nice surface exfoliation. Um, and it's a, it's a good product for me with my oily skin. But I would say those of you that try to avoid skincare products that have a lot of essential oils in them, um, this might be a no-go for you. But I'm going to continue to use this. You will see this in my June skincare routine video, which will be coming up on June 1st, I think. I think June 1st is like a Monday or a Tuesday or something. So um, yeah, this will be in there, but um, I need to test it for a few more weeks before I give you guys a final verdict. But so far, so good for me. But for those of you that have some sensitivities, um, I would take a look at this ingredient list on the back first. So anyway, stay tuned and I'll give you guys more thoughts. Um, makeup, okay, for my lips this week, I love this little duo. So this is actually a duo from Fenty. These are both full-size glosses. These are the Gloss Bombs in Sweet Mouth, which I think is newer to the collection, and then also um, the Fenty Glow, which is the original one. I'm wearing the Fenty Glow today. Um, both of these, I think, come in a set that is, I wanna say 29 bucks. It's a good deal. Um, these Fenty Gloss Bombs are amazing. If you've never tried them, I highly, highly recommend them. I got started with Fussy, this guy right here. Um, they're so nice, you guys. If you have never tried these glosses, try them. Get the set. Um, the Sweet Mouth is, it basically just provides like a clear gloss look to my lips. But these are nice and thick. I feel like they stay put a little bit longer than some other glosses do. They're moisturizing, they're not sticky. They're just really, really comfortable and they provide like a nice amount of color. Um, you can certainly buy all three of these individually, but this set right here that came with the Fenty Glow and the Sweet Mouth is a great deal. And both of these colors are very universal. I feel like pretty much everyone could wear these. So love love those for sure um blush this week has been kind of an interesting mix of things so i have the soft matte baked blushes in plush yeah plush peony and romantic rose from laura geller these are gorgeous laura geller does matte blushes extremely well these are beautiful great for summertime as well um this is the plush peony here this is the romantic rose um gorgeous stay put all day I've also been using and this one you can't get this was a discontinued one this is also from Laura Geller this is the shade dreamsicle um, love this one this is what I have on my cheeks today um, I'm kind of trying to finish it to be totally honest I, I do have a full size of this one as well but it like I said it's discontinued now so you can't get it but um, it is very similar to Luminoso from Milani, so if you have this or if, if you've never tried this for whatever reason, you need to try Luminoso. This is the most universal peachy blush. I love this one during the summertime. I obviously use very little drugstore um, makeup or skincare or hair care, um, but the things that I do still really love from the drugstore, I really love, and this is one that I will always repurchase. These Milani blushes are really, really nice, and Luminoso is kind of, I mean, I feel like everyone has this. It's just, it's the most beautiful universal shade. Love it. Also, this week for eyeshadow, um, I've mostly been using this Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette, and I've also been using, let me get it, because this is kind of random, my Wet n Wild Nutty, just the single, and I've had this new thing that I'm doing. Uh, I don't know why I started doing this, but I haven't been doing a lot of work like with crease colors. I've just been putting a lighter shimmery shade on my lid and then just kind of buffing out the crease with what I have on my lid, if that makes sense. So um, with the Nutty, for example, I would just put this all over my eyelid area and then go in and just, you know, kind of blend out like that uh, and calling it a day. So shimmers are apparently my new thing. <laughs> 
but so I've worn nutty quite a bit and then I've also been alternating between um, this macchiato and creme brulee from the Dominique Cosmetics palette these are gorgeous eyeshadows you guys if you've never tried anything from Dominique Cosmetics um, she's a youtuber I don't actually watch her but I do really like her line um, there is uh, another palette of hers that I want to pick up it's I think the berries and cream so I need to grab that one because those shades are kind of right right up the old alley um, so yeah anyway Dominique cosmetics this one's a hit for me especially if you are just looking to do that shimmery lid situation you've got three really great options here for that and then you've also obviously got some great crease shades if you want to mix it up um, this part of the palette here, for whatever reason, just kind of reminds me of fall. It makes me crave fall a little bit, but I'm trying to not be that person, especially this year, trying to enjoy my summer. So, but yeah, that's what I have for you guys. That's, those are the things for this week, so quite a bit. But anyway, I'll put links for everything down below. Um, I do have some candle content for the weekend if you're interested in those videos. Otherwise, I will see you guys back here on Monday, which is Oh my god the start of june um yeah we'll we'll start out the month with some skincare stuff so stay tuned for that and have a great rest of your day guys i'll see you in the next one bye